Yo, this bitch ass nigga Trey Songs is a bitch. Period. This nigga's a bitch, bro. This nigga came in the club talking about rape. Fuck you talking about rape for a bitch ass nigga? Then you come outside the club and swing on your little brother. He's a bitch. Chris Brown the goat. He's a bitch, brother. About a bitch? God damn. That ain't even my bitch. You talking about bitches that's with these niggas? The workers? <laughs> Chris Brown is the go is actually insane. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with uh What's your boy Jaquise and Trey Songs, gang? Apparently, look. So I'ma just say this. <sighs> Apparently Trey Songs and Jaquees is at the club, right? They was at the club. Apparently they was on some cool shit, you know, two RB niggas. They at the club, they at the same club. They on some cool shit. You 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 know. I don't know if this is my man's dress for real, but apparently they got in a fight and Trey Songz like <laughs> Trey Songz yanked this shit. I'm talking about like he straight yanked this shit. Like like <laughs> <laughs> he straight yanked this shit. Like oh my god. god Jacque say. Trey Songs can't come back to Atlanta. This nigga came in the club and said I got on a que a a que fit a what a, what a, a que fit. I might be dumb or something for y'all. Let me know what the fuck you talking about. And said I got on a que fit. Whole time this nigga hated. This nigga dancing, introducing himself to niggas, all type of shit. Bitch ass nigga. And I gave that bitch ass nigga a compliment. Man, fuck you, pussy ass. You a hoe boy. That love, that love be fake and this nigga pulled out my dread. <laughs> I don't understand the issue though. Like, that's my thing. Like, what's the issue here? I'm going to just read the rest. I'm going to just read the rest. What the fuck? So he said, you a whole boy that love be faking. This nigga pulled out my dread. You better be glad them boys wasn't with me, boy. You would be over with in the every. What? You would be over with in the A. Oh, wish them boys was. You better be glad them boys wasn't with me, boy. You would have been over with in the A, boy. <laughs> every show we there from to. Oh shit, every show we there from the A to NC to Florida, all that shit, you are banned. So this nigga just banned Trey Songz from uh from Atlanta. Nigga's been banned from Atlanta. Look at this. King of R&B is crazy. <laughs> King of R&B is actually insane. Like, King of R&B is actually crazy. Trey Songz banned from the South, especially in the city. Can't come to Atlanta no more. At least peaceful. That's tough. Oh shit, it's a video. Period. Bro, this bitch ass nigga Trey Songs is a bitch. Period. This nigga's a bitch, bro. This nigga came in the club talking about rape. Fuck you talking about rape for a bitch ass nigga? Then you come outside the club and swing on your little brother. He's a bitch. Chris Brown the goat. He's a bitch, brother. About a bitch? God damn. That ain't even my bitch. You talking about bitches that's with these niggas? The workers? <laughs> Chris Brown is the GOAT is actually insane. <laughs> Chris Brown is the GOAT is insane. Chris Brown is the GOAT is wild as fuck. You talking about people that came with these niggas? Hey man, fuck you bitch ass nigga. You a rapist bitch. And I don't give a fuck if you tell anybody anything about what we text you. Put the message on there, bro. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You can never come around me. Fuck you, nigga. Oh, this bitch ass nigga Trey Song. Oh my God. What the hell? Jaquise is just telling it all. Ja Jaquise is just letting it be known. You know, one thing that's just like crazy to me is whenever it's motherfuckers that's getting into it with each other and that got beef with each other and shit. They always air out each other business. 
after the fallout. <laughs> like, they always come into the net with some groundbreaking shit after they fall out. Like, after they, they, they already, after it's been publicly established or some more shit that they not cool with each other. It's always after. Gang, if you knew he was a rapist, why didn't you been say it? That's what that's what's going through that, that's what's going through my head, G. Like you in the club? You, hold on. Where was that energy game? Am I tweaking? He just said. I gave that bitch ass nigga a compliment. Was he a bitch ass nigga when you gave him a compliment? <laughs> Like, see, like this wishy washy ass energy. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like, the nigga, the nigga done punched you in your face, ripped your hair out, and now he, now he a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and him, hey, I ain't gonna lie. The shit that, hey, the shit that he got going on, the shit that he's being alleged against, that that's being alleged against him. Hey, that's not funny. That's not a. That's a serious topic, but. The fact that you wait until after, you wait until after shit pop off to like, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that's some foo-foo shit. Like, yeah, that's some. Anyways, Jacquees had a lot to say on Instagram last night as it pertains to none other than Trey's songs. In a couple of now deleted posts, the singer called out Trey, uh, the, the singer called out songs for starting a fight with him while out in Dubai. Furthermore, Jacquees posted a photo of some of his hair that had been allegedly ripped out by Trey Songs. What the fuck? <laughs> He's still holding his shit. Oh my god. Hold on, what a sound. Um overall it sparked a ton of confusion over how such a fight could have started. For real. Like, how did these niggas just just start breaking out fighting in the club? How did this nigga Look at all that. That's a lot. I ain't gonna lie, ain't it? That's a lot of <laughs> What the fuck? Damn. That's a lot, fo. I ain't gonna lie. That's a lot. Anyways, overall, it sparked a ton of confusion over how such a fight could have started. However, he was quick to post a video explaining the alleged situation. It is here where he went scorched earth on Trey songs. And I think that's where uh, that's where that video came for. Uh, that's where that video came from. So. So I guess Trey songs is just posting. Ignoring the whole shit. <laughs> bro, this nigga, bro. These niggas. So, as you can see in the Instagram post below, Trey Songz posted Love Hard Tour coming to a city near you not long after Jacquees aired him out. So, this is after Jacquees then banned this nigga and some old shit. Uh, throughout his Instagram carousel. <laughs> Talk about carousel i'm dead so they tell him just about like how 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 to how the pictures and shit just just through the the, the gather what the fuck ain't nobody click on see ain't no see see ain't nobody click on your website ig uh needless to say the drama is not phasing him one bit right now only time will tell whether or not he delivers a true response to jacques moreover 
with Jacquees deleting all of his posts about songs, one must wonder his mindset and what he thinks of all this. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. The whole situation is just like crazy as hell. Let, let, let's play the video one more time. Jones is a bitch. Period. This nigga's a bitch, bro. This nigga came in the club talking about rape. Fuck you talking about rape for a bitch ass nigga. Then you come outside the club and swing on your little brother. You's a bitch. Chris Brown the goat. You's a bitch, brother. <laughs> like, why did you? About a bitch. <laughs> why, why did you have to say, bruh? Where did, like, what? Where did Chris Brown. Fo. Nigga. Am I tweaking? Goat. You's a bitch, brother. About a bitch. That ain't even my bitch. You talking about bitches that's with these niggas? The workers? You talking about people that came with these niggas? Hey, man. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You a rapist, bitch. And I don't give a fuck if you tell anybody anything about what we text you. Put the message on there, bro. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You can never come around me. Fuck you, nigga. Calling my man's a rapist. After you clearly feel some type of way about him not showing you some some love in the club or something. <laughs> you know, these R and B niggas be kinda weird though, like <laughs> like <laughs> y'all ever like motherfucker ever just like thought about how weird R and B motherfuckers should be? What are they even beefing about? Y'all have some, you see, what makes it weird and what makes R&B motherfuckers just so soft. <laughs> Look, even 50 Cent said something. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not the only person saying this. Even 50 Cent said something. Look, these R&B, what the fuck? Is this shit okay? These RB motherfuckers is crazy. I told y'all, no RB, LOL. I'm sorry, can't put them together. They think everybody think they soft, so they pop off. Tell it how it is, gang. Tell it how it is, though, gang. And the, I want to say the harsh truth, the harsh truth of it is, the harsh truth of it is, this is some shit that never even had to touch the internet. If I'm being, if I'm being honest, this is some shit that never should have seen the internet. It had the, it had the potential to never see the internet, to never touch the internet. It's one thing. If somebody taking a video of the shit and then they post it, right? It's one thing if rumors is going around, Shade Room posting about it, Say Cheese academics is, you know, talking about it and shit. But for you to post your own dreads and make an IG post game, you know you didn't have to do that. <laughs> you know you didn't have to do that, though. Like, for what? You want the world to know that... <laughs> this is why motherfuckers look at R&B motherfuckers kind of weird. Because it's just like, what are we even supposed to take from this? Are y'all finna make some diss tracks about each other? <laughs> like, what is, like, what do we take from this? Like, what do we... What happens next? What happens next? Literally. That's really what I just want to know. Like, what happens now that this nigga done called Trey Songs a rapist? He didn't ban this nigga from ban this nigga from Atlanta.
<sighs> what now? Cause I ain't gonna lie, like to to me, it, it just seemed like motherfuckers just want attention. <laughs> motherfuckers just want attention. If it, it like, man, some people just don't know how to like let shit be. This is a this is a prime example of not knowing how to let shit be and to just walk away from a situation. Not even to just walk away from a situation, but to you know, I just let it be known. If it's really some, if it's really some on site shit and if it's really like that are you really finna go to the net about it the nigga don't even take you serious he 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 on instagram posting and shit the nigga in turks and caicos the nigga the the nigga the nigga's in turks and caicos so on a yacht with a freaky martini in his hand and some old shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, he 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 really in this bitch just cooler. You got tip in that bitch too, so <laughs> he really don't give a fuck about what you got going on, gang. Yeah, but hey, but hey, I, I I get it. You got your dreads ripped out. You feel some type of way. You 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 in your redemption arc, folks. You know, you take your hair a little bit serious. You feel like that was some feminine shit to him f- for for him to rip your hair out, and you and now you want to get serious. I understand, and now you want to call him a rapist. The thing that I don't understand about the rapist shit, you was just in the club. You just said I gave that bitch ass nigga a compliment. <laughs> you you, you have a compliment a rapist. You, you trying to be cool with a rapist? He a rapist, but you you fake kicking it with him. That's the thing I don't understand about celebrities. Y'all, oh y'all, be on that weird shit. Y'all be on that weird shit. I don't understand it. If you if you don't fuck with the like, if you have an issue, and if you view him a certain way, and then you don't agree with the way that you view him. Why are you even around him in the first place? It's like. I just don't understand that. Like, that's the weirdest thing ever to me. And it and it and it's happening all the time with celebrities and artists and shit like that. These motherfuckers do not like each other, especially the females. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Y'all see y'all see Meg and Nikki, right? Y'all see how like way back, way back before they did their song and shit. But now they beefing and shit. Just like these niggas. They was cool. One got a problem with the other. Don't really want to say it. Some shit popped off. Now he got all the shit in the world to say. Hey, gang. I respect I, I respect you telling the world, but you should have been said that shit. You and you should have been standing on business. But uh, you know, most niggas not built like that. Most niggas not built like that. <laughs> most motherfuckers not built like that, gang. 